What's up, everybody? What's going on? I hope all of y'all are doing undeniably fan freaking tastic out there. It's Monday, and you know what that means. Blog day once again. I'm back with the CMW Evolution Legacy Championship. And, yeah, folks, I hope all of you had a good week. My week's been pretty alright. This past Tuesday, I uploaded that tag team match with uh, myself and Mickey Fulp taking on the team of Kid Ryan and Dirty Joe. This past Wednesday, I uploaded um, another episode of Helpful Man, which got very stanky. <laughs> Thursday, I was able to do that OSG. Friday, I was able to... um. What up, what up close Friday? Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that is right. Friday, I went live. I want to thank uh, Queen Enterprises for joining me for that. I also want to thank... Uh, BTS JK for joining me as well. Um, this past Saturday, I uploaded um, another self standard show to where I was uh, leaving random chalk messages in random places. I might make a sequel to that. I don't know yet. Maybe. I, I might have to end up making a sequel to that. I, I, I feel like it. But. And yesterday was my match from the Peach Festival where I had that. Match with uh, Dale Blackwell making my no, Dale the Crusher um, for my LWA debut, Lynx Wrestling Alliance debut. So, yeah, but this week though, besides uploading, a lesson was learned, a lesson was applied, and dare I say, a lesson was rewarded. Applying the lesson became rewarded. So, leading up from the events of last week. Last week was my vlog with Queen Enterprises, Nikki Breeze. Alright? And me seeing her then was like... After me and her went on break. The break was supposed to end in July. But it turned into us waiting five weeks to see each other. Okay? And that plan that we had for a date after my match, it didn't really go according to plan. She had to go her way, and I had to quickly go on my way too. But still though, big thank you to the big ones for taking me out there anyway. So... Anyway, after my match, me and her, we did the vlog, and then I had to hit the road. So, it didn't dawn on me till I got back home, though, that it took us waiting five weeks, the longest we've ever waited on each other, to only hang out with each other for about two hours, if even that. One of what be, what became one of the shortest moments for us to share with each other came after the longest period of time to wait on each other. But you know what? In the moment, that didn't matter. It didn't matter for some reason because I was happy in that moment, and so was she. And you know what? L leading leading up to that moment with her. Leading up to seeing her at the Peach Festival, it, leading up to that day, there was a phrase that kept replaying over and over and over in my head. I kept saying to myself, love is patient, love is patient, love is patient. Where do I remember that from? So it was after I had ended up leaving the Peach Festival when I got back home. That's when I hit the road again to go to watch Thor Love and Thunder. After the movie was when I was talking to Queen Enterprises on the phone. And I, I told her, I said, look, babe, I don't know how you do it. But me and you, we wait so long on each other just to see each other in person 
Sometimes we wait. Sometimes we wait about a week. Sometimes we wait two. Sometimes we wait three. But today we waited five weeks. And I said, babe, after all that waiting, we only get to hang out with each other for X amount of hours at a time. But it just, I told her it doesn't matter. Because what one thing I learned was that when I'm living in the moment with Queen Enterprises, she knows how to make five seconds feel like eternity. I don't care if I'm hanging out with her for five hours or five minutes. She can make five seconds feel like eternity. And that's amazing. So after that phone call, I looked up, I looked up, um, one of those patients to see where I, I, I remembered it from. And as soon as I looked up Love is Patient, I was directed to 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. I needed to hear that. And I needed to read that. But the fact that love is patient is the very first one has always been my biggest issue. And it doesn't just apply to Queen Enterprises either. Th that, that, that can apply to my wrestling business as well. Again, we go back to the phrase, living in the moment. When I made my pro wrestling debut against Jackson Sane back in 2019, that was me wading through four years of sorrow. Four years of thinking that I couldn't do it. But the moment that I had that match, the day that I had that match, do you think I was thinking about those four years of misery? No, I wasn't. I was thinking about the match itself and how happy I was to have it. So anytime I'm with Queen Enterprises, do you think I'm really considering the two or three weeks that I wanted to see her? No, because I'm happy to see her right then and there. Look, happiness is obviously way better than sadness. So why are we going to be, why, why would we be willing to say, oh no baby, I waited for three to four, <laughs> no. I'm just happy to see her in that moment. That's how I feel. And because of that, Queen Enterprise, this, reading that, it just makes me love you a lot more, baby. Love you. But, just just for the sake of the video, let's take a look at these other ones, alright? Love is kind. Yep, mm hmm Love is kind. Because you got to be kind to each other, obviously. Um, it does not envy. I'll admit, I will admit though, as much as I love Queen Enterprises, Believe it or not, I don't think I'm her favorite wrestler. So, I was getting a little bit jealous how she keeps taking pictures with other wrestlers too. But I've learned to say, you know what, she's a big fan. Let her do what she do. It's not like she's hugging her kid. It's not like she's kissing any other wrestlers. Look at it like that. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. Alright, so... Stupid mosquito. So, I'll admit... Leading up into this relationship with Queen Enterprises... I kept thinking over and over again... 
what would happen if I did have a girlfriend, right? I kept thinking about how having a girlfriend would benefit me. But it wasn't until I started dating Queen Enterprise that I had to reevaluate some things, saying, okay, as a boyfriend, how can I benefit her? So, this relationship between me and her, it's kind of been beneficial to both of us. Um, love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Yep, we gotta tell the truth. It always protects. Oh, Queen, you know I'll try to protect you whenever I can. It always trusts. Yes, baby, I trust you. It always hopes. Oh, yeah, me and her, we stay hoping. And it always perseveres. Let's hope so. Yeah, let's hope so on that one. But, um, yeah. So, th th that was very important for me to read, for sure. But, how did it get... How, hearing this lesson, and reading this lesson, and applying to this lesson was one thing, but what did I mean early when I said that it was possibly rewarded? Well, remember what I said, me and her, we waited a very long time to see, see each other, right? Just to have the shortest amount of time that we have ever spent with each other. This past Saturday, I was invited to, I was invited as a guest to attend a wrestling show in Walford, South Carolina, over there at AWL, American Wrestling League. I wasn't in a match myself, so no, I did not make my debut, but I was just there in attendance for the show. And when I found out how close the show was to Queen Enterprises, I asked her and she was more than happy to come and watch the show with me. So she told her folks and her folks brought her down to the show and actually got to hang out with her for the whole show. She was sitting there with me for the whole show in the front row and both me and her, we was both happy to see each other. And it's not, as a professional wrestler, it's like not often that I get to actually sit down and enjoy a show happening. But this was one of those rare occasions where it did happen. And the show, it was pretty alright. I, I can't lie from my personal opinion, I guess, yep, it was alright, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to be there, and it was superb to just share that moment with Queen Enterprises by my side. She enjoyed the wrestling. She enjoyed the show. And I need to give a special shout-out to the band uh, Testarossa. I hope I'm saying that name right. Yeah, I'm going to like leave their band link in the description below. But Testarossa, they was doing a concert right before the matches started. And they were pretty good. According to what I'm hearing, that, that band, they opened up for uh, Brett Michaels and um, Buck Cherry, and I forgot who else they opened up for. But they were pretty cool, and keep in mind, Queen Enterprise, she is a diehard K-pop fan. So, to see her transition into becoming a little bit of a metalhead that day before my very eyes, it, it was surreal to me. But, like, after the band was done performing... They went to their gimmick table, and I, I kid you not, they were so nice to her. They, 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 they were so nice to Queen Enterprises. They gave her free merchandise and everything. They gave her a free, they gave her a free book bag, a free autograph poster, a free CD. I can't remember everything that they gave her, but that that band was like super duper nice to her. And I started talking to uh, one of the guitarists, and that, that dude, he was funny as heck. So, uh, I, I'm glad that they were pretty nice to her. I'm glad that she had a good time, and so did I. So, yeah. Queen, thank you for... The, long, the longer that this relationship that I have been... The longer this relationship has been lasting with you the more and more I have been learning through, throughout it all. And I gotta say thank you for unintentionally 
teaching me things about myself and life in general. So, thank you, baby. I love you. Now to the rest of my self stand soldiers out there. I know that might have been cringy for you, but I can't help it. So, yeah, um, no uploads for this week, except, except for the SummerSlam Ring Ramblings this coming Saturday. Man, and I know we're all supposed to be coming live from the Madison, from Madison Square Garden tonight. Could be the first Raw without Vincent Man in charge of creative or in the, um, or the CEO, so it's going to be very, very interesting Raw tonight, I must say. So, yeah, I'm not going to be able to uh, watch the Go Home episode of SmackDown and then do the Ring Ramblings because I actually got a match this coming Friday. It's going to be in a six-man tag. Joey, Joey Ford and Brady Collins, they're going to be teaming up with a, a guy named Cooper the House Housley. And they're going to be taking on my... They're going to be taking on the team of myself, Mickey Fulp, and going to be teaming up with Rob Kiljoy, so that might be very interesting. I'm, I might try to upload that match Sunday. Maybe Sunday. Alright. <clears throat> but I can't make any promises. So, yeah. And as far as my next live stream goes, haven't decided just yet, but... I'll, I'll try to keep you posted whenever I can, alright? <clears throat> so yeah, until next time, make sure all of you remember to be outrageously optimistic year-round. Booyah! I'm out. I love you all. And here comes my hug of appreciation. Bye!